Good Wednesday. That's right, we're making more fluffy souffle eggs. This one's called Mer Poulard de Poo Poo. And why did I add the poo poo on the end of that? Well, this is very much like that Indian street food omelet we did, except this one we don't flip. We're going to use our Wilton skillet, throw in a chunk of butter, throw in the whipped eggs, cook the bottom side toasty brown, but then we don't flip it. And the top part is just frothy, foamy, uncooked eggs that you can probably get salmonella from, which will make you go poo-poo. Hence, la mer poulard de poo-poo. I'm giving credit to YouTuber DM who told me about these. Oh, hey. Classically, these are made using a whisk, a hand whisk, in a copper bowl. And I would love to spend $83 on a copper bowl from Amazon. Well, I don't have that kind of money right now. I'm buying other stuff. This came with my Tim Love cookware set. I don't know if this would work. I haven't seen anyone use a silicone coated one. This would go to our motor. It's 2022. We've got electricity. So I, ha I haven't decided which to use yet. So the video I watched, this guy used one of these attached to a motor, and he said serve it with an accompaniment of blue cheese. There's a video where they make tons of these, and we got bowl after bowl of fluffy eggs, and people are just going like this all day. There's this poor guy, and he's looking away, and he's doing this, and he's looking away, and He's probably got carpal mare poulard tunnel in his hand, but going like this. But then you get, with the, with the copper bowl, you get this sort of like percussion sound, and someone else joined in, and it sounded like they were drumming. Let's stop yapping, and let's start making some mare poulard de poo poo. That's right, we're going electric. We'll leave the hand mixing to the purists. When I pick up a copper bowl, we might make another video and do it by hand. Now, I've seen this made with two eggs, and I've seen it made with four eggs. We're going to use three eggs. And about three tablespoons of butter. A tablespoon for each egg. I'm going to warm up the pan a little bit. Let's go to three. I can always turn it down. We're going to start slow, and then we'll, we'll speed it up. Let's pop the eggs. about what we want. I'm just going to go another minute. We're pretty close. We're going with this. That's what it is. I just moved her up to medium. Hunk of butter. It's a lot of butter. I don't know if we need all this butter. That's a lot of butter. Come on now. There you go. Come on. Boop. Just gonna let the butter settle down a little bit. Burn off some of that water content. Stir while we're waiting. Oh. Just let her cook. Let's see if she moves. Oh, she's sliding. She's sliding in there. Very cool. Okay, good. Let's take a look. Oh, she's starting to get toasty. This Wilton Columbia 1976 skillet is pretty non-stick. And it isn't non-stick. 
but it does act pretty non-stick, I have to say. Take another look over here. Oh, yeah, she's getting toasty. See, she's getting toasty. She's getting toasty, but not toasty enough. I forgot to put salt in. You sprinkle salt in. Oh. So if we had a flame, we would be tilting the pan into the flame. I want to pop that. That's a bubble. I want to pop it. We got to try to fold it onto the plate. Oh, it's pretty. Oh, that's a pretty color. Should we stop now? One final check. All right. Now, now. you want to do is get her on the plate now. Oh, 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 yeah. Deflating a little bit. It's pretty. Like a clam. Take some of this blue cheese that I just broke. Now it's supposed to be kind of frothy and uncooked under there. It's almost like a cake. Let's try it with blue cheese. Take a piece of little chunk of blue cheese here. We'll go with a little piece first. It makes a little foamy sound when you cut into it. Oh, my first mer poulard poo poo! Here we go! Too much cheese. A little cheese goes a long way. Take a little piece. Oh, it makes a foamy sound when you cut it. I think you, you don't want too much blue cheese, just a little bit of blue cheese. And this. Here we go. Mmm. It's very tasty. Take just a tiny bit of blue cheese. Egg cotton candy with a toasty crust. I really like it with the blue cheese. I agree. The blue cheese goes really well with this. Thanks for joining me this Wednesday. You know what I'm going to say? Oh, what am I going to say? Thanks for watching. Mmm. Oh. Oh, that's fun.